JCB 3CX contractor version weighs 8.2 tonnes and it has a larger engine than other versions of this famous backhoe loader. This version of the model from MotorArt is an updated paint job from the version that was issued around about 2006. There's no information about the real machine and the model's contained between a pair of plastic formers. These are held together by some poppers which take some effort to pull apart and therefore the final release is somewhat explosive. There is no assembly to do on this model because it is complete. Out of the box. Starting underneath the transmission is detailed and there are decent chunky tyres and the wheels that they are mounted on are quite detailed. On the whole the backhoe arrangement looks good but there are no hydraulic hoses but there is some good detailing inside the cab including JCB on the seat back. There are no hydraulic hoses on the loader arm and some of the connection rivets are either too large or they're screw heads. The loader bucket is a simple casting with none of the functionality of the real bucket. There is quite a bit of plastic on the model and that includes the mirror assemblies, the engine exhaust pipe and the front wheel arches. Out we go, onto the Cranes Etc test track and the 3CX rolls ok, if not easily. And we see already there's some looseness in the backhoe. Looking underneath the wheels spin reasonably well with the rear ones joined to a common axle. There is steering on the front axle and it turns to a moderate angle. However in driving it the steering doesn't work quite so well because it wants to slide rather than go smoothly round a bend. Looking at the backhoe the rotational movement at the boom pivot is not particularly smooth and it's not helped by the false hydraulic cylinder at the bottom. The whole backhoe is on a side shift arrangement but it is stiff. Unfortunately the outriggers on the model can't be lowered so that does mean some poses of the model won't look quite right. In terms of the movement of the boom and the stick it's quite reasonable. And one nice bit of functionality is the extra dig function which puts more length on the stick. And although it's a bit stiff it works well. This machine is often used for digging trenches so let's go into hover mode. And it performs pretty well digging at depth. The hydraulics are stiff enough to hold some poses. But then again they are too loose to hold others. But at least at the end of the stick the bucket will hold any position in a moderate range. Let's now go to the front and see how the loader mechanism works. And you can get a bit of a cut angle. But really there's next to no carry angle when the bucket's at the low point. If we lift the bucket up then the height is also quite severely constrained. And there's also really next to no tipping angle available. So unfortunately the functionality of the loader arm falls short. And again the hydraulics are not uniformly stiff, so not all poses can be held. Anyway it's time for the genuine imitation real life test. And here we see the JCB 3CX approaching a standard road tipper. But sadly the front loader can't reach high enough to get into the tipper. So we have to switch on the Cranes Etc hyper loading mode. This is a specially patented technology and it allows any loader to load any truck of any size. Let's now test the backhoe and see how that performs. And with the extra dig that's rather better. So we can load the truck conventionally without expensive cranes etc technologies. On the face of it this is a reasonably good looking model apart from the big silver rivets. But it really shows its age in the area of functionality. And it's a pity that this updated release did not address some of the shortcomings. But if you want a 150 scale model of a JCB backhoe loader and you're happy with how it looks, then it's fine. 